Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, servicing the Grand Strand and the PD. And today, as we are continuing to look at things to do and touring our local market, we are in Myrtle Beach and this will be an attraction for those of you that like speed. Now, growing up in the PD area and right by the historic Darlington Raceway, I've watched my fair share of racing and I do like the joy of being behind the wheel of something with a motor on it. And so with no further ado, it's showtime. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Ooh, let's go racing today, boys. All right, so that was the Grand Prix at Broadway right there at Broadway at the beach right behind the Hollywood Wax Museum as you saw. And I'm gonna give y'all some final thoughts on all of this at the end of the video. But next we went over to K1 Speed in North Myrtle Beach because that would be your other major option for go-kart racing in Myrtle Beach. So let's take a look at what they got going on over there and then let's recap.
All right, so here's the deal. We had a lot of fun at the Grand Prix at both places racing go-karts. There are some key things for you to consider and be aware of as you're making your decision of which facility would be the best for you to go to. And my opinion would be this. If you have kids, then you're going to want to go over to the Grand Prix at Broadway. Uh, we paid $50 a piece for ride all day wristbands, which also includes the putt-putt course you saw us playing on as well. So for $150, me and two kids were able to ride all day as many times as we wanted to. Now, I would say that we definitely got our value out of that, not to mention with the arcade and the other little auxiliary games they have like uh, basketball shooting, some of the kind of games that you would see at the fair, they've got some of those sprinkled around the grounds as well. So that's good for kids. But the other big thing too is that the go-karts are slower at the Grand Prix and they're a little bit looser with the actual racing. And so you saw written on the go-karts, it says no bumping. And indeed, you're not supposed to swerve, bump, intentionally wreck people, that kind of thing. And they will call you down for that. But it's a little bit more lax. There's a little bit more room for rubbing. You know what they say, if you're not rubbing, you're not racing. In K1, there's actually a flag that they will put out that if a cart behind you is moving faster, they're going to tell you to get out of the way and let them pass by. And part of the reason for that is a segue to part two. The carts at K1 are like 20, 25 miles an hour faster. Those carts are quicker on the acceleration and a lot faster at top end speed than the ones at Grand Prix, making it challenging for kids to drive them. My youngest bit off a little bit more than he could chew with the ones at K1. As an example, he had a blast at the Grand Prix. When I asked him, did he have a good time at K1? He actually said he didn't. He literally said that. And the reason was he couldn't handle the cart. We talked about it, but some things you just have to experience. It was more for him than he could handle. And that was one downside I would say to that is we did, it said I did 12 laps, but we constantly had to stop because some of the younger folks that were on the track kept getting spun around and and crashing and we would have to stop so that they could get them situated and restarted. And so if you get in a situation like that, that could take away from the experience a little bit. Not to mention the fact that it was a lot more expensive at K1. I would say that if you have younger kids, if it's a family outing, you're going to want to go to the Grand Prix. You're going to have a great time. And for $50, you can do all the racing that you want to do. But I would say if you're getting together with the fellas or if it's an adult outing, maybe double dating or something like that, and it's within the budget, K1 Speed is definitely a place you're going to want to check out. Overall, the facility's super nice. It's obviously climate controlled and air conditioned. So that's another factor you're going to want to take into consideration. Both places have a cafe offering food. And I could definitely see where K1 Speed would be a place if it's within the budget, of course, that would be a good time to gather and get a handful of races in with some friends or family. So those are the takeaways. I would say the bottom line is Grand Prix is more of a family friendly environment. Not that K1 speed cannot be family friendly because it indeed can too, but it's a little bit more of like a high end racing experience when it comes to go-kart racing in Myrtle Beach. No matter which place you choose, you're going to have a good time. I can guarantee you that. And so with that being said, down in the comments, y'all let me know if you've had experiences at either one of these places. What have your experiences been? If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for future content covering all things to deal with the PD region and the Grand Strand. And maybe we'll see y'all down on the track one day. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>